In this video I want to show you how to connect your Samsung Galaxy A15 to your PC to be able to transfer files between your PC and your phone. So step number one is to get a USB cable. Now it's very important not all USB cables will be able to transfer data. So especially the cheap ones some USB cables are only able to charge your phone so if what I will show you next doesn't work there's a good chance that the fault is simply the cable so try using another one or I'll put links in the description if you don't have any that transfer data if you want to get them check my links anyway so the first step is to connect while well, one end of this cable could be USB type C or USB type A depending what your PC has this PC has a USB type A port but also USB type C so I'll connect it right over here like that and then connect the other end in the USB port of your Samsung device now once you have connected what you need to do wait around five seconds and then drag down from the top right corner if you don't get this message appearing if you see allow access to phone data well obviously you need to allow this if you don't get the message drag down from the top left corner you're gonna see over here USB file transfer or something else maybe your phone thinks that uh, your PC is something else so click on it whatever it is and from this menu, you're going to make sure that transfer files is the option that is selected, not USB tethering, not MIDI, not transfer image or charge only phone. So important to select the first option. So once you do this, you can set your phone aside. We won't need it anymore for this to work. Go on your PC, open your files and on the left side over here, select this PC and then you should see your Galaxy phone over here A14, A15, A16 no matter which model you have so double click on your phone select internal storage and these are all the folders that are on my phone so if you want to transfer a file from the phone to the PC open the folder where the file is located take the file and simply drag and drop or copy and paste just like that and now the file is on my PC as well as on my phone you can do the contrary as well so let's say I want to take a file that is on my PC and drag it there here we go the file has been added on my phone so it's very easy to transfer uh, video photo music anything really files PDF files you see if in case you want to carry them on your phone so once you finish doing this, you don't need to do anything special. You simply have to disconnect the cable from the phone. Exit this and uh, yeah, you're good to go. The files are now on your smartphone. If this was helpful, please leave a like, comment down below. Tell me it was useful and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Comment as well if you think I can improve things. Uh, in this video.